Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to develop a very simple Java program that is going to allow us to print out a pattern like this a right angle triangle made up of numbers increased by one. As you can see here on the first row, we have one. The second row, we have two and three. The third row, we have four, five, six. And then the fourth row, we are having seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the number of rows is determined by the value inputted by the user here. As you can see, four is what the user has inputted. So we are going to uh, develop a very simple program that is going to allow us to have this particular output in the console. So we are going to use for loop statements in order to do that. So the first thing we need to make sure is to have our input object declared here. As you can see, static scanner console equal new scanner. And uh, we have to import the scanner class as well. So after doing that, we have to declare some variables. The first variable, I'm going to call it number of rows. So I would say number of rows like this. Then another variable that we will need to declare is going to be um, of type integer, and I'm going to call it n, and I will initialize it by setting its value to one. So this variable n is going to be used when we are going to be outputting values uh, in the console. So next we are going to use an output statement, I'll say print line. So I'm going to write a message, something like please enter the number of rows, I'm sorry. Then semicolon here, I need to write my input statement. So the input statement, uh, so I will say number of rows. So this is going to force the user to input the value from his keyboard. So console here is the name of the input variable and I'm gonna say next int. So this is the input statement. Then I will do my for loop statement like this. So I will say for integer i equal to one. So this is the initialization statement. Then the condition must be equal less than or equal to the number of rows or the value that the user will input from the keyboard. And then I'm going to increment the value of i like this. Let me open the curly braces. Inside these curly braces, I'm going to write the second for loop statement and the initialization statement will be integer j equal to one. Then the condition is going to be j must be less than or equal to uh, i. And then I'm going to increment the value of j. So that's right. I'm going to open the curly braces and in here, I'm going to write my output statement. And uh, so instead in the previous videos, we were outputting either I for the first video we did or J, but here we are going to choose to output the value of the variable n, okay? But then we say that, uh, as we could see, that in that triangle, the numbers were increased by one. So we need to increment the value of n uh, whenever it is uh, evaluated. So that's why we are putting n plus plus. So that is going to make sure that uh, the value of n is going to be incremented throughout the execution of the program. Then after doing that, I'm going to write the last output statement and print line. Then in here, I'm going to put an empty string. Okay. And also make sure that up here, instead of uh, using the method print line, we have to use the method print. So this is going to make sure that the next value of the variable n to be printed would come on the next line, okay? That's why we are putting this system that out at the print line here. So that's it. Now I'm going to run this small program and see what will happen. So it says, please enter the number of rows. And I'm going to type three, for example. And then as you can see, we are having three rows 
and uh, the number or the numbers w- which are making up this particular triangle are being incremented or increased by one throughout the execution of this program. You will see if I type four here and then run, as you can see, what is happening. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can uh, put the value five, for example, and there you can see how the program is running. So guys, that was it concerning this very small uh, program. Um, Thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So let's meet in the next video.